Hello, this is going to be a tutorial on using Visual Studio for specifically for C++. You could use it for other languages such as like Java, C Sharp, but I'm going to just use it for C++. So the first thing you want to do is you click on New Project, and then you'll click on the language. I only have C++ installed here. So I have C++, you click on Win32 and Win32 console application. You'll enter the name you want. And you press OK. Now you click on finish directly. Now you'll see there's going to be two folders the header files and the source files. The header files contain the .h. This is more used for classes, uh, but this is just an intro tutorial, so we won't be dealing with that. In the source files, you'll see like a CP, the CPP files. CPP standing for C++. And your whatever you name the file that's like your main program right there and it comes in as a default template like this in Visual Studio so the two things you want to add in your main program are include iOS stream this is a thing you need to always include and you don't need to include this but it helps you a lot using namespace std so you don't have to always press C std c out or std c in so the two things you really need to know that are important are C out and C in. Basically, C out outputs the text. C in, this will input the text. That's what you need to know. Now, C is case sensitive, so if you declare a variable called int a, then int a again and you assign two different values to each one of these it'll be a uh, it's gonna be totally different uh, it's not like you need to have the right case so if we declare so that's basically how you could declare that you could say uh, float b or you could say constant float pi equals 3.141 I'm just declaring anything. So basically, what I want to do is uh, I'll see out to the reader. Enter in two values for A and B. When you see out, you press end line. This will end the line when you write this thing right here. End line. Now you want to see in A, B. What I'll do now is I'll see out value of A is let me say A and you could just the see out the pi directly. And that's pretty much it. Now you could you could run you could press F5 to debug it, or you could press Control F5 without debugging it. I'm gonna press Control F5, and you'll see on the bottom of the screen it'll show you like how's it compiling if it the build is succeeded and not. So this is the program. It says enter in two values. So I enter in 10 and 12.5. Sorry about that. And 12.5. So basically, here it'll show the value of a is that value of b is 12.5, and 3.14 that's the value of the constant pi that I declared here. And that's pretty much a basic introduction to using Visual Studios using the language C. Thank you for watching.